This is simply going to be a speech on how to hook up a surround sound headset to the PlayStation 3. The headset being used in this video is a Triton AX Pro. You're going to start by taking the cord plugged into the headset. And just simply plug it into the AX Pro uh, Dolby surround sound uh, sound box. What you're going to want to do is you're going to want to get the power adapter. You're going to take the the straight end of it. And you're going to simply plug it into this part of the headset. Now that we have that done, we're going to take the the actual power source and we are going to plug it to the DC in slot on the Dolby box. Now that you've got that done, you're going to want to grab the optical cable which comes with it. You're going to plug one end of it into this spot right here. Then you're going to want to take the other end and plug it into your PS3 or Xbox 360. The optical cord goes into this plug-in right there of the PS3. Now that you have this done, you have to go into the settings of the actual PS3 and uh, choose your sound sources and your microphone options. If you would like to chat over the PlayStation Network, there is a small plug right here by the optical port that simply says mic. So what you do is you're going to want to take that end of the cord and you're just going to plug it in there and then you're going to plug it into the USB port that is right under here on the PlayStation 3. Whenever you get down your Dolby Digital Surround Sound box it should look something like this. One of the most important steps is you need to plug this in to a power source. So we're just going to take it plug it in right there and now you can see the lights came on on the box and the headset is good to go once you start up your PlayStation 3 it should look something like this you're going to want to go over to the settings you're going to want to scroll all the way down to sound settings you're going to click on that audio output settings you're going to go up to optical digital click on that you're going to want to check the Dolby Digital 5.1 channel. And you're going to want to go over and hit enter the X button. Now you see the sound is no longer coming out of the TV, but rather it is coming out of the headset. Now if you're going to want to game online, you're going to have to go to back to settings. You're going to want to go to accessory settings. going to want to go to audio device settings and uh, whenever you get it if you have like a Bluetooth headset it should say um, that it should just say wireless headset like that and have it checked but what you're going to want to do is go up to C media USB audio device hit enter on that and I keep my microphone level on one that way my friends do not get uh, feedback of their own microphone I'm going to go OK. And now you're ready to game online with some buddies. Once you actually have all your sound going, you notice right here on the cord to the headset itself, it has like a little uh, sound settings. OK. Now if you, if you game on the Xbox 360, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to plug in a cord right here. It's, it actually says Xbox 360. And you plug it into the Xbox 360 controller. Now, this has... Um, it features a little clicker. And what it does is it goes from green to blue to white to a cyan type color. 
and it goes to red. Red is the highest and green is the lowest. Now if you want to just straight up mute, you just actually push this button in and it mutes it. Okay. Now instead of lowering this to uh, make friends quieter on the chat, it actually has a little chat bar right here. You can just scroll it down towards the actual headset and uh, the chat volume goes down. If you scroll it up, it goes up. It has a microphone on and off switch. See that? And um, it has four clickers on it because there are four speakers in each of the head cups. Now, here comes the, f the top one is for the front. You click it and you can go up or down with it. And then if you just give it a couple seconds, it'll go back. You can do the rear and do the same thing. You can do the same thing to the back speaker. And if that's not enough, you can do the same thing to the subwoofer if you want, you know, explosions to be that much more dramatic.